Well, hello. I want to welcome you to another exciting episode of Pens in Use. This week, this is my collection I have out. Uh, a few changes. And interestingly, I have something to bring up for a viewer, uh, which has to do with this pen and this pen. We'll reorganize them here. I have a, a Pilot Custom 823. I have a Lamy 2000. A Nemocene Singularity. A Noodler's Conrad, which has been there for a few weeks. A Parker 51, which I'm getting ready to review. A Bauer 388, which I'm getting ready to review. I'm actually also getting ready to review the Nemocene. Forgot to mention that. A Parker 21. A Lank CV... What the hell is it called? Crocodile Clip Celluloid and a Marte Modena Citizen. So, let's set these aside and do some writing. A couple of weeks ago, you may have seen me review a notebook. Uh, MyUberPens.com has a number of notebooks out. I, uh, I just feel like I need to point out that just because a notebook isn't suited for me doesn't make it a bad notebook. This is not suited for me. Pretty, nice paper, but not my kind of notebook because it's too nice. I don't have nice things except for fountain pens. I mean, look at my house. Look at the ugh, the glue on the curtain from where I glued it in my old house to make it fit. You know, I, I don't have nice things. My 17-year-old car. But some things, I, uh, it doesn't make it a bad pen or notebook. Sorry. So I just feel like I need to point that out. All right, so I'm going to start this week with this guy. This is my Lamy 2000. So today it's uh, pens in use. Uh, let's see, February. Twenty fourth, two thousand seventeen. So this is my Lamy 2000. This is the broad one. I have not written with this pen in a while. Uh, let's see, the ink in it is Aurora Black, which is proving to be a very nice black color. Uh, I feel like I need to dial down the exposure on this a little bit. There, that's better. It's just so stark with the exposure I had. So, Lamy 2000 got me thinking. I haven't written with this pen in a while either. Now, this was my first nice pen. This is a Pilot Custom 823. Um, in fact, I had a viewer recently ask me, uh, what was the name? It was something about spoons. Fake spoon? I can't remember. I don't really feel like looking it up either. But anyway, a viewer asked me uh, which I would recommend as a daily writer. So, so uh, I answered them, but I'll, uh, for the benefit of all of you, if I want to reach for a pen just to write, yes, this is a nice pen, but I'd rather use the Lamy 2000. The Lamy 2000 just feels nicer, it looks nicer, it writes, they both write really nicely. Um, I just, I can relax my Lamy 2000, it fits me better. So, uh, yeah, the Lamy 2000 would win. Now, admittedly, the broad nib would not be my choice as a daily writer, because that's broad. Uh, that's my fun pen, and usually... I wouldn't have black in it. The only reason it has black in it is I thought I was grabbing my fine and I didn't look real closely and surprise! So then I inked up the 823 to be my daily writer for a while till they're both empty. Now the 823 being a vacuum filler you have to unscrew the spline cap a bit so there's a little valve down here it releases. You can probably see all the details in my review of this pad. It's one of the early ones but anyway. So this is a pilot Custom 823. Let's get closer. I'm, I just feel like that's too far away. Yeah. Yeah, then we can enjoy the writing much more better. By the way, I uh, just a few minutes ago got done deboning and de-skinning a bunch of chicken thighs. I uh, don't normally do that. They were very cold, and I don't think my hands quite have all their feeling back. I'm making a Thai peanut something or other, peanut chicken 
Nope, thought that was the recipe over there. It's not. Thai peanut chicken something or other in the crock pot. It's got peppers and onions in it, and there's some kind of a peanut sauce, so it'll be fun. Uh, never made it before. So Pilot Custom 823 Aurora Black. I do like this pen. It's just not, uh, not what I consider a daily writer. Alrighty, let's get, uh, let's see, do I have any more black ink over here? I do not. That's a nice change. I've been sampling black inks. I may have found one or two I like, so stay tuned on that. Uh, this here is my Parker 21. Thank you, Sandra, from Wisconsin. I don't know what size nib it is, but I do know the ink. I have to look up its spelling because, wow... Is that a difficult word to spell? Kyonuto. Very uh, pink ink. <laughs> uh, then I have, and by the way, not a pen I would consider as a daily writer, it's, and when I review it, I'll explain better why, but it just sort of has these this clicky feeling in my hand. It's just not quite there. Uh, now, there are some others I would consider. Aurora 88, the original, not the uh, modern one, because I've never used a modern one, because I do live on a budget. Uh, this here would not be one. This is a Parker 51, but do expect a rodeo coming up real soon where I discuss this pen. And a, a review, of course. Uh, so I emptied it out. I refilled it with Noodler's Rattler Eel Red. Why Noodler's Rattler Eel Red? Well, I will tell you. Noodler's Rattler Eel Red, it can be a very good ink for cleaning stains and such out of your pen. So I didn't like that the sack is black, so I had this vague hope that maybe this will black in it otherwise I may end up buying a sack not that there's anything wrong with the sack I just like to be able to see my ink level if it's possible and this is a daily writer for a lot of people and it was marketed as like your pen to use every day back when it came out I just uh, don't care for how it feels can't really explain why I mean it's a it's a nice pen I can feel that it's nice but it's not one I'm going to use every day uh, this is a Nemocene Singularity. And I have the 0.6 millimeter nib on it. There are number six nibs, so you can put on your favorite Goulet nib or Knox nib or whatever. And the ink I'm using is Noodler's Nightshade, an ink I don't use that often. And every so often I think about getting rid of the bottle and giving it to somebody. But then it, I come back to it because it is kind of a different sort of a brown. Um, this lighting and this camera don't show it well, but if you've ever gotten a letter where I've written using it, you, you can kind of see it. It's a purplish brown, if that makes sense. Uh, I'll just tell you briefly... I had a bad first experience with this particular model. Not this pen, but this model. The first time I bought this one, it would have been back early, early on. This lip here on the cap came all cracked. Within the weekend, all this had cracked off. So I wrote the company and said, yo, what's up, dudes? And I suggested, hey, let's move this decorative band just down a fraction of an inch. And problem solved. Well, they didn't, uh, apparently. But they did send me another pen. And they said, no, it's on us. Don't worry about it. It arrived. Before I even handled it or touched it, it was cracked. And I just said, ah, heck with you guys. So I had written Nemocene off until uh, a, a lot of other reviewers this year started raving about them. And I have a soft spot for Nemocene because they have a lot of physics stuff with their packaging, which I will show you when I review the pen. But uh, So I decided to give it another try. I will say it is kind of a nice pen. Um, my original feeling was that it was nice if it weren't for the cracking thing. And yeah, so far no cracking, so I'm liking it. Nice pen. And uh, not like I'm 
excited to review it, but I do look forward to reviewing it. Still have my Noodler's Conrad inked up with uh, Apache Sunset, and uh, this is a fun Nemocene thing. I just love this. This, let's see if we can get closer, because, yeah, I like this a lot. This is the Nemocene re-entry nib. Uh, they, they use fire to heat it, and if you've ever seen that, you can do that to metal. Uh, and then there, apparently there's a coating on it so it doesn't rub off. I just think that looks so cool. I'm surprised nobody else has done it. Now, Caveco has their, uh, oh shoot, their Super Mini Pocket Pen is available as a fire blue. I can't remember what it's called. I don't own one. So it's not coming to me, but, you know, very cool. But at $175 for a pen that looks cool that I know is too small for me anyway, don't think so. All right. So I still got the fire look with for a lot less money. Noodler's Conrad. A very wet feed, but with this nib it is not wet. Uh, now, I will say, this same nib and some other pens has been very wet. So, it's something about this combination of Noodler's and uh, this nib. So, Noodler's Conrad with a Nemocene re-entry nib. And I don't remember the size, and it's not, I can't see it. It's up underneath the collar, so we'll just go with it. And, of course, this is Noodler's Apache Sunset. which should be a very impressive shading ink, and uh, with this nib, it lays flat. So, yeah, I'm thinking that's just not the right combination. All right, this one is a gift I got from Larry Barones. A very unexpected gift, very generous gift, as holy cow. Uh, this is a Marte Modena Citizen in, uh, I want to say the New York finish. And, uh, you know, red, white, and blue, so maybe I'll ink it up for Memorial Day and 4th of July. So, Marte, probably not with this ink. Marte, this is a German ink. Marte Modena Citizen. I do not know the nib size, and apparently you don't really get a choice. If I had to guess, I'd say medium. The ink is Dea Tremendous. And need a new line. Cucumber. Now, was that weird that I just sniffed a nib? <laughs> Probably. Uh, but I'm told I'm a little bit weird. But the reason I sniffed the nib is because this is a scented ink. Um, you, as the recipient of my writing, would never smell it. Uh, you can only smell it if you're uh, here as it's drying. But... Uh, I guess that's a thing. Deatramentus has several scented inks. Then hardly any of them smell like the real thing, but you know, if that's your deal, go nuts. I kind of like the fur smell. Uh, this one doesn't smell like any cucumber I ever ate or whatever, but what? Uh, and Deatramentus is a small manufacturer in Germany. It's a gentleman who's a chemist, and uh, I think he's cool for making these interesting inks because he has a lot of interesting inks. Um, one of my favorites is blackberry, but it, it's so strongly flavored that it just kind of, ooh, hard to get it out of the pen then. And I said flavored, I meant scented. Do not taste your ink. They have interesting biocides in them to keep little creatures from growing in them. All right, this is another one I'll be reviewing very soon. This is a Bauer, or Bohr, or however you pronounce it. That's another thing I want to learn. B-A-O-E-R. 388. It's a, uh, guess what it's a knockoff of. And this is Noodler's Conquered Bream. A very fun ink that I think looks a lot like Ditto Fluid. Uh, if you remember the old Dittos from the 80s and before, you know, they smelled like smoke and Make you feel a little bit good if you get a lot of it. Um, anyway, it's a. Uh, I needed. I, I realized today I didn't have blue ink, so yeah, I just inked this up with blue. And I'll be reviewing it. It's 
a little bit scratchy. It's actually a surprisingly nice pen. Um, a Australian gentleman who's a name escapes me, a KLP pen, something like that, um, spoke highly of it and compared it to the Parker Sonnet. I have never owned a Parker Sonnet, so I don't know, but it is a nice pen for, you know, four dollars, especially a little scratchy, but uh, I'll work on that after I review it. It may be a keeper, and then one I can't wait to review. And I will be reviewing it before this fill is out. Just look at that. And uh, let me just zoom in. Manual zoom with this camera. So yes, that's a crocodile shaped clip. With little, no those aren't diamonds. Probably glass or plastic, little eyes. Uh, this finish is I it says celluloid in the name that I'm going to write, but I'm pretty sure it's not celluloid. But look at the chatoyancy. I find that just very attractive. And as far as details go, even the grip section is made out of something interesting. And then brass threads, of course. And uh, unlike a lot of my Chinese-made pens, this one does not dry out as it sits in the pen. So when I ink this, when I pull this out to write with it tomorrow, it's going to start right up. And it's not going to be dark. It's not going to have any trouble. So this is a Lank CV. Ooh. Actually, I do have a remark on that. Uh, I get the name exactly right. Because this is a good pen. And it's very low cost. It's probably the second lowest cost pen here. Crocodile Clip Celluloid. Even a little tiny crocodile on the nib. Another thing for a close-up when we do the review. The ink in it is Noodler's. Monjiro Nakahama. So there is one thing that could prevent me from reviewing this pen on this current fill, and that's this ink. This ink is probably one of my most ill-tempered inks. It dries out very quickly uh, in some pens. So I'm testing to see how well this cap seals. If uh, tomorrow I can't write with it, I'll know it's kind of an average seal. Uh, some pens have really surprised me with this ink, like the Lamy ABC, a cheap children's pen. Awesome with this ink. So, we will see. Um, I used to own some Edison pens. I no longer do because I've traded or given them away. Um, but I tried it in one of them and bleh, that was a fight. But then they don't seal as well. So, there is that. So, anyway, that's what I have in use. So I have recorded a video uh, to substitute for pens in use. One of these weeks, real soon, I'm going to be sending this laptop off for repair work. There's a couple photographic things I want to finish up, uh, but then it's just going to leave me for a week or two, and uh, I have enough reviews ahead, and I'm going to film a buffer. That's why there's so many pens here that are ready to be reviewed. I count one, two, three, I count four that I will be re filming reviews this week or this weekend, and uh, preparing them so that I'm well ahead on reviews. And I really look forward to having that laptop right there back without the mess on the screen. Uh, it's been horrible. Uh, doing these videos has been painful. Editing photographs has been painful. Writing tests has been painful. Reading ma news articles has been painful. There hasn't been anything good about having a cracked screen. Nothing, except I'm really going to appreciate when it's not cracked. And I'm going to get the battery replaced, which will be awesome too, because if I unplug it for more than about two minutes, boop, we're shutting down. So, all in all, looking forward to that. So, you probably didn't care about all that, but I hope you enjoyed the photograph anyway. And, yeah, when you get the video for pens in use, which tours through my collection of pens, you'll know the laptop is off for repair. I'm also going to film another video just kind of to have on hand because it may come in handy. We, I don't know. 
uh, in which I'm going to demonstrate sketch notes. And uh, yeah, I may do one in bullet journaling too. You know, something to fill that gap. So I hope this was interesting, hope it was useful. If I'm back with pens in use next week, it's because the laptop hasn't been off and repaired. So, I, but any of my other driving videos and whatnot, just, well, they are what they are. They're going to continue. I've got a backlog of them. So I thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.